In this video, we will be talking about the best course that you should take in order to build a strong foundation in the field of robotics, start making amazing robots and kickstart your career in this amazing field. And guess what? It is not just one thing. You will be learning a blend of four things that you will need to build useful and functional robots. And this field is called mechatronics. We will be going through what mechatronics is, why it's so important for robotics, the high career opportunities it offers and why it's going to be crucial for us in the future. So what exactly is mechatronics? Mechatronics might sound a little bit complicated, but when you break it down, it makes total sense. Mechatronics is a recipe that combines mainly four ingredients. 1. Mechanical engineering 2. Electronics 3. Control system and 4. Computer science Before we dive deeper, let's take a closer look at these four components. Understanding this will give you a clear picture of what you will be studying and how each part contributes to building amazing robots. The first part is mechanical engineering. So we have these mechanical systems, right? This is all about physical parts of our robot. Things like gears, motors, structural components. Mechanical systems give your robot the ability to move, lift and interact with the world. In Robota, for example, the mechanical system includes the joints, arms and actuators that makes it possible to move and perform tasks. Next we have the electronic system and this is where the magic happens. This will be bringing your mechanical parts to life. Electronic systems include sensors, circuits and power supplies. These components monitor the environment, provide feedback and control the movement of the mechanical parts. For instance, in the case of robotic arm, sensors can detect the position of the arm and send that information to the control system to adjust its movements. Next, we have the control systems. These are like the brain of our robot. Control system makes sure that these robots that we are building are working smoothly and accurately. But how does it do that? They take input from sensors and decide how the mechanical and electronic system should respond. In the case of robotic arm, the control system makes sure that the arm moves at the right position in the right angle with the right amount of force, whether it's assembling a car part or performing delicate surgery. But not the least, we have the computer science or the computer engineering. This is where you will learn how to program your robot, telling it exactly what to do and when to do it. Computer engineering involves software development algorithms and artificial intelligence all of which are essential for making robots smart and capable of complex tasks. In our robotic arm example, computer engineering is what enables the arm to understand instructions, process sensor data and execute tasks with precision. So in short, imagine you are building a robot. You need the mechanical parts to move, electronics to power and control these movements, computer science to tell the robot what to do and control systems to make sure everything works smoothly together. So guys, this is mechatronics in action. Not only this robotica, all the robots that we see are a blend of these four things working together in harmony and making sure that everything is working as expected. And guys, as an electronics engineer myself, I would emphasize a little bit more on electronics because of all the four, I feel like electronics is a component that glues together the rest of the three components. Let me introduce you to a tool that I have been using in order to design my circuits, my hobby projects and design my PCBs. And guys, if you already have electronics enthusiast, this is going to help you a lot in your journey. This is Altium PCB Designer. This is a tool which can be used to design circuits, create simple PCBs for hobby projects or complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. Altium subscription includes Altium 365 which lets you design, share and manufacture your projects all in one place. You can download and install trial version from the description down below. So the next question is, why is mechatronics that important if you want to get into robotics? As I mentioned earlier, robotics is not just one thing. It's the ultimate combination of all these four fields that I mentioned earlier. So when you are building a robot, you are not simply putting together a bunch of things together. You are actually creating a system where all these things are working together. If the mechanical parts are off, your robot won't move, right? If the electronics are messed up, your robot might not even turn on. And if your programming is buggy, well, your robot might just do something totally unexpected. Mechatronics teaches how to think about all these things together as one big system. 
It's like learning how to play all the instruments in an orchestra so you can conduct them and create a beautiful symphony. But only in this case, the symphony is the robot working perfectly. So guys, next question is what you can do with a background in mechatronics? Well, the possibilities are endless, especially in the field of robotics. You could become a robotics engineer, designing and building robots for industries like manufacturing, healthcare, or even entertainment. Maybe you will work on automation system, helping companies create smarter and more efficient machines. Or perhaps you will dive into control system, making sure robots move precisely and safely. And guys, this is the best part. Companies around the world are looking for people with mechatronic skills because the demands for robotics and automation is skyrocketing. Whether you want to work in a high-tech lab or start your own robotics company, mechatronics give you the tools to make it happen. Okay guys, so now you know about mechatronics. You know what mechatronics is, what are the scopes and what you will learn from mechatronics. And you have decided to go forward with it. But the next question is, where and how do we get started? If you are in high school, you can look for a mechatronics program at your local college or university. Make sure that that college or the university that you will be going to is accredited. These programs will cover everything from mechanical design to programming to electronics giving you a solid foundation. But you don't have to worry if you are not yet ready to jump into a full program. There are so many online programs available. Some of them are even free. There are tons of online courses that can help you get started even if you are a complete beginner. Platforms like Coursera, Udemy and even YouTube have really good resources. Also guys, if you are truly into electronics and PCB, check out Altium Student Lab and you can get free access to Altium Designer and Altium 365 to work with your friends and earn a certificate recognized by top industries in India. You can use your university or school email to start for free. You can try that as well for free by clicking the link in the description below. And of course, in our YouTube channel, we have a lot of tutorials on robotics and DIY electronics that will help you learn robotics at your own pace. So if you are interested in robotics, make sure you check out our channel. You're going to really love it. And make sure you subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. And also, don't forget about hands-on practice. Start small. Build simple robots or gadgets using kits. As you get more comfortable, you can start taking on bigger projects. The key is to keep learning and keep experimenting. And guys, to wrap the things up, mechatronics is definitely the best way to start robotics. It's the perfect blend of all the skills you need to build, program, and control robots that can do amazing things. Whether you are just getting started or looking to take your skills to the next level, mechatronics has got you covered. And guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give this video a like. I would really appreciate it.